Watches have always fascinated me, not just as status symbols or for showing off. Sure, I love their beautiful designs, but for me, it's about so much more than just brand or class. What really captivates me is the engineering, the mechanical brilliance behind each piece, the craftsmanship, the precision, the sheer intricacy that goes into making these tiny masterpieces tick. I've always wondered though, how can we really know which watches offer the most mechanical complexity and craftsmanship for the price we pay? Welcome to IN5. In this special video, I'm excited to introduce a formula I've developed to answer exactly that. It's a way to measure which watches truly deliver the most engineering and craftsmanship for a fair and reasonable price. Let's dive in and discover how you can identify the most intricate timepieces that offer real value for your money. The formula I've developed takes into account the raw engineering that goes into a watch. It weighs the number of components, the type of complications it offers, the intricacy of the movement and the level of craftsmanship. But we don't stop there. We also factor in the price, adjust the kit so we aren't fooled by flashy materials like gold or platinum. First up, the number of components. The more parts a watch has, the more intricate and complex its mechanism. Watches with hundreds of pieces usually offer more functionality, precision and uniqueness. Complications are what take watches from basic to brilliant. Whether it's a simple date function or a to beyond, each complication adds a layer of mechanical sophistication. In my formula, every complication is scored based on its complexity. A simple date gets a score of 1, but a minute repeater, that's a 6. I've carefully rated these complications based on their mechanical complexity, and you can pause the video here to take a closer look at the table. If you think a complication is rated too high or too low, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on refining this table. This way, we know whether a watch is packed with valuable complications or just features designed for show. The third element in the formula is the movement complexity. This refers to the engineering behind the movement itself, the heart of the watch. Different types of movements have varying levels of mechanical sophistication, from simple manual wind movements to highly advanced to beyonds and constant force mechanisms. To measure this, I've developed a table that assigns a complexity score to each movement type, based on the engineering and precision involved. Simpler movements get a lower score, while more intricate and innovative mechanisms get a higher score. You can pause the video here to take a closer look at the movement complexity table. And like with the complication scores, feel free to comment if you think a movement score should be adjusted. I'd appreciate your feedback on this as well. Craftsmanship is key to any masterpiece. Here we score how much handwork, attention to detail and traditional methods go into building the watch. A Rolex might have great assembly, but something like a Patek Flip or another Mars Piguet, we're talking about hundreds of hours of precision hand finishing. There's a table that assigns a craftsmanship coefficient based on the complexity of hand finishing and the time taken. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Now let's talk about the price, but not in the usual way. In this formula, I subtract the value of the materials first. That's because a watch made from gold or platinum might cost a lot, but I want to focus on the mechanics, not the materials itself. To do that, I have created a table with the cost of various watch materials in US dollars per gram. To estimate the material cost, we simply multiply the weight of the watch by the cost per gram for its respective material. Here's where it gets interesting. Instead of just dividing by the price, I use the square root of the adjusted price in the denominator. Why? Because in the real world, the time, skill and the experience of a master watchmaker come at a cost, one that increases exponentially. A watch handcrafted over two years by an expert isn't just twice as expensive as a mass-produced watch. It can be much more due to the craftsmanship involved. By using the square root, I make sure watches that take years of a master watchmaker's time, precision and expertise get the credit they deserve. Without this, extremely complex watches made by hand would be unfairly penalized just for being expensive. This way, we reward the true artistry behind these masterpieces while still considering their price. Now let's apply this formula to some iconic watches from brands like Rolex, Omega, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet and Grand Seiko. We're about to find out which watches truly give you the most complexity and engineering for your money. 
First up, we have the iconic Rolex Daytona, a timeless sports chronograph known for its racing heritage. The Daytona features a chronograph and a small seconds complication, giving it a decent mechanical complexity. It's built from 201 components with an automatic integrated movement and moderate craftsmanship score. When we run it through the formula, the Daytona scores 68.9, not bad for an industry icon. Now let's move to one of the most historically significant watches, the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch. Known for accompanying astronauts to the moon, it features a chronograph and a small seconds with 276 components and a manual wind movement. This iconic piece scores 54.7 in our formula. Next, we have another iconic piece from Patek Philippe, the Nautilus Perpetual Calendar crafted in white gold. This watch features a perpetual calendar, moon phase and day-date complications with 275 components. It also benefits from extensive hand finishing. The complexity value score comes out to 94.6, showing that while it's a high luxury timepiece, its complexity and craftsmanship also justifies the premium price. For those who like bold and rugged designs, we have the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph. It comes with a chronograph, small seconds and a date complication, boasting 365 components and a high precision automatic movement. After plugging the numbers into our formula, the Royal Oak Offshore scores an impressive 117.1. This watch represents intricate engineering housed in a sporty, durable package. Finally, we explore cutting-edge watchmaking from Grand Seiko with the Spring Drive Chronograph. This watch combines a chronograph, GMT and date complications into a highly complex system of 416 components. Powered by the Spring Drive movement, this watch is a marvel of engineering. It earns the highest score so far at 472.4, offering incredible complexity at an excellent value, showcasing the brilliance of Japanese horology. So there you have it. This is my take on estimating the complexity value score of a watch. But this is just my approach. I'd be very happy to hear your take on the formula. What you think works well and especially any suggestions you have to improve its accuracy. Let me know in the comments below. Your feedback could help make this a more refined and useful tool for all of us who love watches. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to In5 because the next video will be all about the watches that claim the highest complexity value score based on this formula. So keep in touch and stay tuned for that.